not again. Climate Steve, I'm cold. Put the top up. Climate Barbie, I can't. I can't. We're out of juice. You told me there's a power station here. It's right up there. If I plugged into that, we'd both be fried. Hey, look, someone's coming. Maybe they can help us. I hate that sound. We're saved. Hey there, need a hand? If you're out of gas, this should get you back to town. Gas? We don't use that dirty fuel. We're out of juice. Sorry, pal. How come the top is down? You two are going to freeze to death. I'm cold, Climate Steve. I told you, we're out of juice. It's an EV. It was such a nice day for a drive. Then this storm blew in. Ha! Welcome to Alberta, ma'am. Here, better put this on. Not everybody can be prepared like you. Oh, really? So I have to be prepared for you. Don't you dress for the weather? Well, that is a bit warmer. Hey, what about your girl? Climate Barbie? She's the one who told me Canada's warming three times faster than the rest of the world. Environment Canada must have lied to me, Climate Steve. Climate Barbie, why don't you come with me? You can warm up in the truck and I'll take you back to town for supper if you like. Hey, what about me? Just call AMA for roadside assistance. My cell phone's dead. Don't worry, I got something for you. I'll be right back. Thank you for saving me, Bob. My pleasure, Climate Barbie. Do I have to wait forever? Just hang on, Climate Steve. What's that thing you're dragging around? A unicorn. I always carry one with me for times like this. But, but what do I do? Just like a horse, saddle up and fly home, Steve. Are you sure it works? Absolutely. Greenpeace told me so. Climate policy in Canada is like a cross between a Disney movie and a train wreck. Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. What Climate Steve and Climate Barbie need is a charge. They need a charging station. But they're out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of winter, caught in a spring storm with no range and no charge. They're all out of juice. And so will Canada be out of juice if we continue with the climate policies that we've presently adopted. Just for the EV policy alone, by 2035, we would need to have 10,000 megawatts more of power generation in Canada. We don't have that. Each of those projects takes about 10 to 20 years to plan and 20 to 30 years to build. Look at Site C Dam, for example. It isn't even finished and it's been going on for decades. So we would need about 19 more Site C Dams um, or um, about eight more Muskrat Falls. And that's not finished either and it's billions over budget. So we're driving toward a climate policy disaster in Canada that's going to put people into heat or eat poverty and into blackout. And look what happened on Easter weekend when you look at Ontario and Quebec. Thousands of people, almost a million people, were without power because of an ice storm. Well, what happens if we did manage to create a national grid? Think what would happen. National blackouts. So these are not very well thought out policies. They didn't do their due diligence. And it's going to be disastrous for every single Canadian. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.